On the previous tutorial, we have shown you how to traverse the array. So for this tutorial now, we're going to show you the insertion operation for an array. What is insertion operation? The insert operation is to insert one or more data elements into an array based on the requirement. A new element can be added at the beginning and or any given index of the array. So here we have here the implementation of insertion operation. So here are the variables. Again, oh, we have discussed this last time, but let us try to go over it. So LA here is the array. So this was declared the array. Then item is the item to be inserted on the array. So we have here the declaration, integer item equals 10. And then K here is the position where the item is to be inserted. So it says here K is equal to 3. So that will be the position. N is the number of elements of the array. So we have here 5. I and J are counter variables for loops, etc. So in this particular example, I is representing the first index and J is representing representing the last index. That's why we have here j is equal to n minus 1. So here are the initial values. So this is the array. We have the following elements, 1, 3, 5, 7, and 8. And these are the indices of the array. So item is 10, k is 3, the position. n represents the number of elements. So we have five elements in our array. So we have here five then i again is the position of our first index and four is our last index so i and j the traverse part of the implementation we just skip that and the output will be like this just like we have shown in our previous slide so let's go directly to the insertion operation the insert operation so implementation of the insert operation we have the line n equals n plus one so why are we doing this? We are actually inserting. Then that means the number of elements will be increased by 1. That's why we have here n equals n plus 1. So the result in the memory of the computer, n will now become equal to 6. Then the next line in our code will be the loop. So first we have here while j is greater or equal to k. k, so that means loop from current last index, which is actually j, that's 4, down to the desired insert operation up to k. So what are we going to do inside the loop? We copy the value of the current element, so that is indexed by j, this is the current element, to the next element. So we copy the current to the next element, and then we move down to the next index. So move down, that's why we are... We use it minus one. So from the from the last index to the index of the index where we want the element to be inserted. Okay. Then insert the item on after the loop, then we insert the item on the position. But let's first take a look at the loop. So before the start of the loop, these are the values. Okay. And then the first iteration, so we have here now a loop. So it says here that LJ plus 1, so J is 4. So J is 4, so J plus 1 is 5. So J plus 1 is 5. So the contents of LAJ, which is 8, is copied to LAJ plus 1. So 8 is copied here on this index. So it is duplicated here and then j equals j minus 1 so later on j will become equal to 3 and j plus 1 will become equal to 4 so in the second iteration you notice in j now is 3 and this one is 4 we copy what j is 3 so from 3 to from the third index we copy that to the fourth index so 3 and 4 so 7 is now copied here 
Okay, so more or less you now know the pattern. Then again, subtract 1 to J. So on the next loop, J becomes 2, which will cause the loop to exit. Because the loop condition is uh, K should be, or J should be greater or equal to K. So on the next loop, J becomes lesser than K. So the loop will exit. And then the next line, the item is now copied on LAK. So this the item, the value of item is 10, copied to LA indexed by K. So 10 is now placed here. So we notice now that 10 is already inserted inside the array at position number 3. So that is the insertion operation. So after the insertion operation, let's now try to discuss the deletion operation. So deletion operation refers to removing an existing element from the array and reorganizing all elements of an array. So the algorithm is something like this. So consider LA is the linear array with n elements and k is the positive integer such as k greater or equal to n. Following is the algorithm to delete an element available at the kth position of, uh, let's change that to k index, not the position, k index of la, so that it will be consistent with our first example. So we have your start, then j now, our counter, will be equal to the position where you want the position or the index that you want to be deleted. Then this will be the loop. Repeat until or while j is lesser than n minus 1. So from the position up to the second to the last index. So what we're going to do from that position, we copied the next, the value of the next element is copied to that position for the current at the current position. And then go to the next element. So that is repeated. After that, then we just delete one to n, which represents the number of elements. So let's take a look at or uh, let's try to simulate the deletion operation. So this is the uh, code first. So j is equal to k. What is done here is the position array index j. So the position array index to the index of the element to be deleted. So we position that the index. So j is equal to k. Then repeat steps until the index j reaches the second to the last index. That is why we have j is lesser than n minus 1. So this is the loop. So what is done here? Copy the next element that is indexed by j plus 1 to the current index, the current element or index j. So we copy this to the current position. And then proceed to the next element until this becomes false. Then since we delete one element, then we subtract 1 from n. So this is now what will happen to the program. First, we assign j is equal to k. So k is 3, the position 3 is 1. And then, so j becomes equal to 3. Now this one is not really a variable. j plus 1 here is not really a variable. But let's try to watch its value. So after that, while j is lesser than n minus 1, copy the next element of j. So this is our code. I have explained this a while ago. Let's try to simulate. So once we loop, this will be the first sentence or the first statement inside the loop. So in the first iteration, when j is equal to 3, so the contents of j plus 1, which is actual index 4, so this one, is copied to LAJ. So 8 is copied to 
LAJ or index or position 3. So 8 is copied here. Okay? So it was able to overwrite 7. And then J equals J plus 1. After this line, J will be equal to 4. So J will be equal to 4. And the loop condition now will become false. So loop stops. So although I have only, because it's a second to the last element, that's why we only have one iteration of the loop. But I think you already know, or you, you can already see the pattern. So let's say, for example, if you want to delete this, copy this to this, and then copy this. Or if we want to delete this, copy 2 to 3, and then 8 to 5, etc. So that is how we delete. And then when the control goes out of the loop, so we just subtract 1 from n. So n becomes 4. So we have enough 4 elements. Actually, 8 is still here, still in memory, but the program will just ignore the last 8, this one. So that is how the delete operation functions.